Swamped, this is a suburb of Maribyrnong in Melbourne's west, just 10 kilometres from the heart of the city. The Maribyrnong River bursts its banks. Hundreds of homes are underwater, others have been isolated. 50,000 people across the state are without power. This is my family home. My father built this house and um, lived here most of my life. And yeah, it's never been water in it before. Two days of unrelenting rain caused flash flooding across Melbourne. Thousands of people in Victoria were told to leave. Those who were stranded were rescued by emergency service crews. We still are of the view that there's about 500 homes that have been inundated. Uh, there are an, another 500 homes at least that have been isolated. So when I say homes, properties, maybe more than just a house, maybe in terms of farmland, much bigger uh, parcels of land. Evacuation orders were issued across three states. In western New South Wales, highways and rail lines have been cut off. In the state of Tasmania, rainfall records have been broken after two days of torrential rain. This is a second major flood event this year, with Queensland and New South Wales devastated by what was described as a rain bomb in February this year. And it's not expected to be the last. The Bureau of Meteorology has warned that a La Nina weather event will bring with it heavy rainfall over summer. The worst of the rain may have passed, but authorities say some river systems are expected to peak in the coming days. And then there's the clean-up. Sarah Clark, Al Jazeera, Brisbane, Australia.